hey guys welcome back to Drew tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you now guys as the title of this video suggests that i'll be showing you how to increase the speed and the performance of your windows 10 or windows 11 computer by simply disabling services on your computer that are simply not required for windows to perform and by doing this it will help your computer to increase in speed and to boost its performances right now in today's video i'm going to show with you about 15 services that you can disable that are optional that you can easily disable right now in order to find services on your computer all you have to do just simply click on the windows icon here on the taskbar and type services right now once you go ahead and open up services you will find all the windows services in your computer here right and the first service that i want you to disable right or let's say the first group of services that i want you to disable you just simply type xbox now what i'm going to mention to you in order for you to know what these services are you will be able to find them under the description right here on this left side beside the services on the top left side right so you will be able to read and know what these services that i'm telling you that you need to disable so the first group of services is xbox now there are four of them so if you're a person who don't use your computer to play games with xbox right or you're not a gamer then you can easily disable these xbox services and there are four of these services that you can disable right so go ahead and disable these services now how you go about disabling those services the first thing that you want to do is just simply right click on those services and click on properties and then you want to click on disable then click apply and then click ok and you want to do that for each of these services so go to properties simply change it from manual to disable apply then click ok and you want to do it for all four of these services now once you finish doing this guys you want to move on to the next service that you want to disable so now guys the next service in the list that you want to disable is the windows error reporting service and as i said before you can know what these services are used for so this allows error to be reported when programs stop working or responding and allow existing solution to be delivered right now there are other applications out here that you can use to do this and this is not a service that is required you can use it you don't have to use it and as you can see right now it is set to manual so this is something that you can also disable and all you have to do as well is simply right click on it and simply go to properties change it from manual to disable then click apply and simply click ok right now the next service that you want to search for is a service by the name of windows biometric service so let me go ahead and find it for you here you can find it windows biometric service now if your computer uses the biometric service you can leave this on but if your person is using a desktop computer then most likely this service is not useful for you right because you have your standard keyboard and as you know these desktop computers don't really have this option so in my computer at the moment it doesn't have it so all you have to do is just simply go ahead and disable this and click apply and then click ok and this service that you're looking for now is the remote desktop configuration now if you don't need this to do remote desktop then you can easily disable this option on your computer and in order to do that again you right click you go to properties and you simply want to click disable and click apply then click ok next one let me go ahead and press anywhere here and click p and you want to look for the phone service as well you know that it is basically allowing you to manage telephone state on your device so if you're not using this service you can simply go ahead right click on it and if this service is running you can simply click stop first and this will stop the service for you and then once the service is stopped you can easily go ahead and go to properties and simply change this from manual to disable so you want to stop it and once the service is stopped then you simply want to click on disable then click apply then click ok right now the next service in the list let me go ahead and press anywhere and click g and you will find the geolocation service and it's simple straightforward the service monitor the current location of your system and manage geographic 
location so if you're not using this service and it's not useful for you you can go ahead and right click and stop it and then after which you can go to the properties and then you want to change it to disable as well you want to ensure that it is stopped first before you disable this service right now once you do that the next service that you can disable guys just simple click i and you should find all those services with i and you want to look for the one that says ip helper now this service is useful if you're playing video games through your browsers right this is what it's most likely useful for it's mostly common use for right so if you're playing video games through your browser then this is useful for you you don't have to disable it but if you're a person who are not playing video games through your browser then you can easily disable this service all you have to do again is make sure that you stop it or you can go to the properties stop it here then change it to the same right and that's all that you have to do now the next service that you want to disable just simply go ahead and type in p and it will take you to those services which are started with p now this service guys is the print spooler if you're a person who is not using printer and you don't use your computer to print you're just simply using it for another purpose you can disable the print spooler now this is pretty optional if you're using if you're using printer from time to time then go ahead and leave this on but if you don't just simply go ahead and right click and you want to stop the service or go ahead to the properties stop and then do the disable from here and this will disable the print spooler and as the name suggests it is useful for printing right so if you're going to print connect your computer to a printer from time to time then you leave it on if not you can disable that one as well let me go ahead and type f here and move on to the next one now this next service here is the fax you can disable the fax as well if you're not using fax on your computer you want to go ahead and disable the flap you want to go ahead and disable the fax you click apply then click ok right now the next one in the list let me go ahead and press c here and we want to look for a service that says connected user experience right so this is the one that we want to look for connected user experiences and telemetry so if you're not using this one as well you can go ahead and you can disable it as the description says the connected user experience and telemetry service enables feature that supports in app and connected user experience so this is something that is not necessary if you need it you can basically leave it otherwise this is optional and you can disable this service as well next one let me go ahead and press b here and we will look for the one that says bitlocker drive encryption service this one is also optional if you're not using it you can simply go ahead and go to properties ensure that it is stopped and you can disable this one as well then click apply and then click ok right and guys the final one that we want to disable is this one at the top here the actual the second one in the list is active x right active x installer no guys if you're a person who is not using internet explorer on your computer then you don't need active x right so all you have to do just simply right click on it go to properties you want to ensure that it's stopped first and then you want to go ahead and disable active x installer because this one is used for internet explorer no guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time well, welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time